Hello everyone, Peter Hewitt, La Artistino here. Today we're going to talk about erasers. I've had a number of people asking me about the erasers they see in my speed colouring videos and I thought instead of answering everybody individually I'll just give you a rundown on the types of erasers that I use and the peculiar things about them. First of all a bit of a disclaimer, we don't call them erasers in Australia, we tend to call them rubbers. But I know rubbers mean something completely different in other countries and certainly nothing to do with art or well no art that you're going to see me do here in my videos anyway. So I will try to remember to call them erasers while I'm running this video but if I gaff up know that rubbers actually mean erasers. Okay let's get started. First off I will show you the most common eraser that you will see around and that's these guys. These are just the little soft erasers that work very well. They leave a little bit of dust. Get them in all different brands. That's a Faber-Castell, uh, that's a Staedtler, that's another little Faber-Castell. Oh, that's old. And I've got a huge collection of these in my drawers. These are great for the job. They rub out very well. If I just do a little scribble here with a grey lead. These will rub out 90% of it. And you've got to flick away the dust with pencils. Now I'll just grab one of my polychromous pencils. So if you're colouring something and you go, oops, I've made that too dark, I need to lighten it. Oh, too dark, too dark, too dark, and I want to soften this end of it. You can grab your eraser and just lightly go over the top, as so, and just create a gradient there. There will be a little bit of a, a drag to either side so you can clean that up afterwards too. Okay. Now the thing about these polychromous pencils, one of their selling points is that they actually erase very well. You won't get them a hundred percent gone from the paper. You won't, you won't, you know, go all the way back to white paper if you try to erase with these. And certainly how dark you coloured dictates how much pen you're going to be able to rub off. As you can see there, that's going to be quite dark. But you can you can re remove anywhere from 50 to 90% of it. With other pencils, uh, let's see now. This is a Marco Refine. They may not erase quite so well. Let's give this one a burl. Uh, again, I'm getting about 60% of it off. You're left with these little bits of rubbery rubbish that you'll have to kind of like sweep up. Or you can be like me and just flick them on the floor and vacuum them up later. I'm a bit messy like that. Okay, that's these guys. Next, I will show you this eraser. This is a one called a Paper Made Eraser. Uh, there are different brands of these guys. I think Staedtler puts one out as well. And basically, it's a kind of pencil shape, but it's inside. It's got this, uh, I'll pull it out, this long piece of eraser material, which is exactly the same as what these guys have more or less but you sort of press the end there and it opens up these little uh, retaining claws push that in and you've got just a little piece of rubber sticking out the end and when you want more rubber so you wear it all the way down to you know a nub you can just press the end there and more comes out and these are pretty good. I find the uh, Pacermate ones are very good. Some of the ones I've tried in the past when you rub it, the little claws aren't very strong and the rubber gets pushed back in. Sorry, eraser, there I go again, I did warn you. But I find on the whole, these work really well for smaller areas. And they're, they're nicer to hold as well if you like holding a pen. Next, I will show you another version and this is my Derwent electric eraser. This is a battery operated eraser. If I flick that open, you'll see there is a couple of batteries that are running it. Put the little cover back in. At the front here, you've got a little retaining claw, and inside that is, if I pull it out, is a little piece of eraser. Now I'll push that into the claw, and this is what you do to reload them as well when your little rubber start eraser. Oh god. You wouldn't want to make a drinking game out of this, would you? You know, how many times do I say eraser? Uh, say rubber instead of eraser, you got to take a drink? Uh, no, no, that wouldn't work at all. Don't ignore that I said that. Okay, when I put the eraser back in to use it, just press it in, 
there's a little button that sits on the side just press the button and you can hear that noise hang on I'll see if I can put it up to the camera a bit more so you can see you might be able to see the tips vibrating there it vibrates really really fast and that gets rid of some of your pencil marks pop a little pencil mark on my test sheet again here there you go, a bit of colour and I'll grab this and this is good for when you want to do small areas, little, little corners and tight areas and you don't want to disrupt the colouring that you've done around it and again you can move about 80% of it off you'll always be left with a bit of a shadow uh, you don't want to go too heavy with any eraser because you'll end up damaging the surface of your paper now with these little guys they come with refills this one came with a little pack of refills here and you can buy more in packs like this so there's plenty I find these last a, well, a good a good amount of time but you still if you're gonna buy one I suggest grabbing a, a pack of uh, refills as well so you don't get frustrated when they run out the last one I'm going to show you is the kneaded eraser and this is something that you will find most professional artists prefer these uh, look like oh, they look like blue tack don't they stuff that you stick stuff up your wall I wonder if there's the same stuff I don't know I've never tried to erase with blue tack oh, put a message in the comments if you've tried and see if it works or not now the beauty of these guys is the way they work uh, if I can show you again I'll put a little bit of color down now these guys you can just dab it on and I don't know if you see that, but it's actually picked up, ooh, try again, picked up the colour there in the eraser itself. So I've not had to rub on the paper at all, I'm just dabbing. Now I can also rub on the paper if I like, to remove the rest. And they're pretty good. And when they get dirty, you just kind of knead it round and knead the dirty bit in and you've got another clean bit. And the nice thing about these rubbers, erasers, oh there you go, take another drink. The nice thing about these erasers is that you can sort of put a little point on them and just get into a really teeny spot if you need to. There, like a really teeny spot. And the other beauty that you might have noticed about this um, type of eraser is there is no residual little crummy bits that come off it as well. So it's a lot cleaner to use. I should use this more often actually. Hmm. Okay. And they're pretty good. Let's try one of the Marco Refine pencils. See how well that does with that one. Again, I can just tap it off. There you go. There's the pencil on the eraser picked up. Oh, I can give it a bit of a rub. Yeah, it removes a fair amount of it. Enough that you could perhaps go over with another colour and you wouldn't notice it too much. Um, I always make mistakes when I'm colouring by the way I'm not perfect and I'll always put green where I meant to meant purple or somewhere somewhere on every picture I've done I've made a mistake and I've had to rub out the colour and recolour it but you can hardly notice it okay and that is my video on erasers I hope you enjoyed it it's just a little short one happy colouring